Great rising Pisces, what is popping this lovely day? Today is Wednesday, August the 28th, and time is winding down. We are already damn near in September. Time is winding down. Pisces, it's a lot going on, right? Um... It's time for you not to be someone's doormat. It's time for you to open up that third eye and see everything for what it is. Okay? Um, not to let people take advantage of us. Alright? Know how to fight your battle. Know when to do things in a nice, humble way. Okay? The way you do it is to be humble about it. And do it where you're the bigger person. All right? People been thinking you, you've you been sleeping for a long time. So when they think you're sleeping, they think they can do whatever they want. All right, Pisces. Like I said, thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you for waking us up. Grand rising, my lovely Pisces. And thank you for all those who like and share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for all those who love me and have been with me for a long time. Thank you so much. All right. I read your comments. So thank you. For those who are window watch watching, and feel like they try to find out that tarot card reader that they feel um, comfortable with. Do what you got to do, baby. I don't hold nobody here against their will. I am a spiritual channel. I challenge spirits. And I work in the light. All right? So... First of all, I want to say do some air cleansing, drink a lot of water, get your rest, light your candles, take your salt bath, touch trees, pick up stones, all right? Because these next couple months, it's like they want to, the world's going on a ride, but all eyes bear on us. All right, so let's move on, Pisces, for all those who are getting a reading from me, um, and um, pay for their reading, know that you can go and get your reading today or the next day. I do not hold on to anyone's reading or anyone's packages, all right, or orders. All the orders are out. I have nothing else to send out. Thank you for all the support that you give me. If you order any candles, such as the Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, know one thing for sure. The Black Magic exists in many forms and ways. Watch what you leave behind, whether it's clothes, you know, anything of your item that you have energy um, with. Um, sometimes we go to people's house and we live with them and we leave items behind and or they go into your pictures and grab pictures and blow up pictures and do crazy things. It can be done in many ways, the way they think of you, the way they talk, say your name, put your name out there. Plant magic works in many different forms. The green candle, it is, first of all, for your health, okay? The way you nurture yourself, right? Your abundant prosperity, your healing, your growth, fertility. All right? This is the candle, the light to get all things popping off. To self-love candle, can't nobody love you like you. And when you get that through your head and you start working it, that's when things start turning around. Because they used, you will attract what you, who you are. All right, the justice candle is just what it says. 
court case, court matters, paperwork, decisions, all right? Palo Santo and Sage is very important. That is when you go out of your house, you dealing with people, people coming in your house, you picking up energy, whether it's from your job, your relationship, your kids, whatever it is, that is something that you got to get rid of. And you got to put it around your house to get rid of that type of energy. All right. The red brick dust is for anything around you, your doorways, around your house, or if you don't have a house in the park, and put it in front of your door. The walnut path, it is to work on your shadow side. We all have a shadow side. The oils come in oil form and in dry form, and I always put my oils on. I have crystals and stones that play a major part of your beam in your body. All right. The salt bath is a spiritual detox salt bath, and it's not Epsom salt, it's cave salt. Herbs in the bag, very important. Okay. So if you go on to my webpage, you will find more than that. My jewelry, my evil eye, and bracelets, and um, my chakras. Make sure you get things on you, baby, okay? It's always nice to wear diamonds and studs and gold and all that. But the most important thing is to protect yourself. Sure, God is around, but the devil is too. Okay, if you are with someone, right, or broke up from somebody or in a job or in positions like that and things just don't seem right to you right it's a lot of trouble fighting argument not getting along make sure you protect yourself don't ever let nobody see you sweat okay here we go Pisces sometimes we have partners that we work with that we need to open up our eyes to see what they're really doing. Sometimes you get so deep into what you're doing and the problems you're having that you don't see what they're doing and how they treat you. or what the, It could be anything, whether it's a partner at work, where you work at, a partner that you're going into business with, a partner that you're sleeping with. Sometimes we get so involved in so many things that's going on in our life that we don't even see how we're being taken advantage of. So you be careful in the levels that you have people in your life. What I've learned to do, Pisces, and this is with family and everything that's going on, I learn to stay away. My conversations are very short and dry. I don't sit on the phone and want to talk to them about nothing. Just because you have family don't mean they like you. Just because you go to work don't mean people like you. Just because you go in a partnership with somebody don't mean that it's all good. All right? Remember I told you that because people get that confused. Right? That's why I do things alone. I don't have partners. I don't have nobody. I do me. And these days, the people that are in my circle, that I choose to have in my circle, you know, that's it and that's all. It is what it is. All right? You be careful. Know how to handle situation. And remember, you are the solution to every problem that you are facing. Be calm and do not hurt yourself. Sometimes we think that we are, if you don't own something and you work for a company, do not cross yourself because if you find yourself that you're crossing yourself, you can really do some damage to yourself, all right? So be careful on how you handle situations at work, all right? If you're one of them people that got it like that and don't give a damn, then shit, you can walk out of there without worrying about no paperwork. Just go, leave. But if you got a lot to lose and you paying bills and all that, be careful. 
you give me a time to do a certain thing. Time runs fast, and if you think I'm lying, look how quick September is here. All right, so don't press on something and think that everything is going to be. Because these days, it's hard to get these jobs that you're making that kind of money now. To start at a new job or new something that you start from scratch. The bottom person. Be careful how you make decisions. And I'm telling you, I've been through a lot of work with dealing with people, but it ain't nothing I can't handle. All right? I sit back and observe it, then I handle it the next step. Think about how you do things. Think about what comes out of your mouth. And don't let nobody see you sweat. Let's get started with this reading. Okay, let's get started with the reading. Art Michael Jordan, Art, allow me to do this reading. Help me do this reading. Let me know what I need to see. Okay, it's a card that flipped over. The moon. The moon, Pisces. So when the moon shows up, it's maybe because you are in a mist, or maybe because you are um, going through something, right? Not seeing things clearly for what it is, right? It also can mean that the moon is there to bring light to a situation. For you to see something you haven't seen in a long time for what it is. But also remember, the moon can play tricks with you all right it can make it can put like a cloud over your face a mist all right or it can bring things to the light all right but it seems like in this picture like you are seeing things for what it is and that moon is exactly how you see it on this picture right now you may be dealing with a scorpio a cancer or a pisces all right, you may be going through this. Signs ain't everything. It's a sign that show, represents the car. The meaning of the car reading is the message that you are receiving. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. The Three of Cups celebrations. All right, celebrating with people that are close to you. All right, everybody here is. Partying, it's a lot of love, a lot of connections. It's telling you to see things for what it is. And this also can mean like there's more than one person involved. And you need to see things for the truth of the matter. All right? Or it can also tell you somebody had you blind for a long time. Had you like you couldn't even see through shit. All right? Tell me more. And you are really showing up in your own reading. You got the moon and the three of cups showing you all the way. The four of cups, um, of pinnacles, keeping things close to your chest. Right? Maybe you, maybe somebody's keeping a lot of information to themselves or just looking at this and saying, I got to deal with this matter in a certain way. But I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to see how all this unfolds. Because now I see, see things for what it is. Okay? So I'm just going to keep it all and not say nothing. But I'm seeing it. Because it seems like this can be at work or this can be in a relationship. Okay? So you got to see it. For where your situation, where you at in your situation, all right? Nobody knows what situation you in but you. Tell me more about this moon. Why is this moon here? Why is this moon here? The emperor. Somebody here in a business. Somebody here is running their own business. Somebody here does a lot of phone call working on phones or um um 
opening something. Maybe somebody here got a vending company or they do parties, <coughs> events, or, um, you know, they play a major role in whatever they do. Okay? But it seems like things are coming to the light or whatever it is that, you know, you're going through or whatever it is that you're seeing. Or it's like you empower. You are above whatever it is. You play a major role in this business. All right? It may be telling you that somebody that you know is doing things behind your back. In a business that you have, something that you're going in partners with, all right? Things that you don't know that's going behind closed doors, all right? So, you may be dealing with an Aries, all right? Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups here? Musicians, somebody probably go to party clubs, maybe do events, a lot of events, all right? Into music, all right? Maybe somebody is a promoter. Maybe somebody goes to a club and met somebody at a club or do a lot of social event or go to a lot of social parties, all right? Or somebody's going somewhere to celebrate something. All right, but it's three people here, so something's tied up here. Now, this can go good or it can go bad because the musician ain't no telling what they're capable of doing. Remember, the musician can make you think of something being delusional or something thinking that it's there when it's not or having you in a place where you really thought things was kicking off but the way they came at it so that you don't see how they working on shit. Like, they making it seem like we got all the tools, but they doing all the tools over there by themselves, not with you. But you think it is with you, but it's not. The musician can play many tricks. It's a trickster. It's someone that can make you see things for what it is, but it's not. All right? You know, I don't know that, that guy, David Cockerfield, you know, the one that goes on stage and be making uh, um, New York disappear and cars and all this crazy shit. And people are like, oh my God, you know, good and damn well he ain't making shit disappear. You really think this motherfucker's making something disappear? But you in the crowd talking about, oh my God. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. But it's, it's, it's like you're celebrating something. They want you to feel like you celebrate something. They want you to feel like you're a part of something. But it's a delusional thing that they're doing. It's this mind game. And they got all the tools to play these games. It's somebody that's in control of something. Somebody that's playing a major part of a situation. So you got to be careful. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. All right. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. I made it. I ain't saying shit. I'm keeping all this to myself. I'm not letting nobody know how I move, what I'm doing, what I'm up to. I made it. I graduated. All right. And that is the way I move myself. While they thinking they're getting the best of me, while they think they got all this magical shit that they're doing to me, while they think they celebrating me doing bad, they don't want me to do good, whatever it is that they're doing to me, I sit back and watch the shit unfold. I'm not about a party shit. I makes the shit pop off. You eat off of my shit. All right? You eat off of what I make. You eating that shit. It's going through your mouth, down your throat, into your stomach. You wearing my name. 
You wondering why I wasn't there, what this and that, but you eating off my shit. You already know everything that's laying down, what I made, honey. You fucking telling me what, <laughs> I ain't got to show up. My shit shows up. I ain't got to sit there and brag about who I am. I am who I am. You the one that's trying to tear me down. But, they, but Pisces, you look at this shit. Look how people are. And there's three people. Look at this shit. Yeah, you making it. And they like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you what? You, you, what you thought? What you thought? Like, we can make go down. You know how you on the road comes and you go down and it takes the breath out of you? It's like this, oh my God, I'm getting ready to go down. And you don't have no control over this going down. Right? It's getting ready to go down, damn it. Right? So everything somebody thought that they was doing, or trying to plan on shit, or do shit at events, parties, or you at work with a group of people, baby, ain't nothing moving. You ain't doing nothing to me. That's why you got to stay calm. You can't let people see you go crazy and not just, just be calm about shit. Lay back. Because the surprise is the Pandora box. Yeah. And once again, I set the shit the fuck off. You thought I what? You thought I what? You thought I'd show up? You really did? But I bet you you eating off of my shit. Because you know for a fact, who made that, Lisa? And who's eating the motherfucking shit? You. That's how much you don't like me. Did you fucking pop off on my shit? Did you watch? Did you want to see me have this downfall? But I'm a celebration of your main event. I've always been a celebration of the main event. Pisces, you've always been that celebration. Give yourself a stand and obey shit for all the motherfucking haters. So you got to walk around with your mouth closed and not let you be seen the way they want to see you. People work in groups. People start shit in groups and you don't even see it. But when you wake up to it, they don't like that shit. Because you see it for what it is. All right? You seeing a person for their true colors. You ever see somebody that you like and then you go somewhere, you see them, and then they play like, oh, yeah, like we cool and everything, but but we really ain't, but they want you to believe that we cool? That's this kind of situation. You got to be careful with people. Right? It's like shit. At the end, I made it. You still sitting there like you can't fucking believe it. Right? It's like you can be with a group of people and you really think these people really care about you. But they don't. Let you be in the hot seat. Let's see how many people are going to be riding with you. But you think this person knows and been there and knows your situation. They don't give a fuck about your situation. But you really think, oh, they like you. They like me. They like working with me. Oh, they understand me. Oh, no. They don't give a fuck. All right? You may be in a thing where you deal with somebody that's all about themselves. Just eating off of you and you don't even know. You fucking helping and doing this and that. They eating off of you. But the thing is, they keeping that money close to their chest. They keeping that degree that they popping off close. Because you get ready to go and take their asses on the ride and they never been on aid. They didn't even think you was doing this shit. A lot of y'all going to school, going to college, getting diplomas. People don't even know what you're doing. But you're doing it and you're not talking about it. You're not saying shit. And that's the way you should be, Pisces. Keep your business to yourself. Your accomplishment to yourself. Because this world is all about self. 
And the people you think that are riding with you, they ain't riding with you. They want to know what you're doing. How you doing it? How you getting it? They want to copy, paste for themselves. All right? Tell me more about this emperor. The lovers. This person got, can care about you. This person can have a child. Right? Can be attached to um, a situation here. Right? Can have a business of their own. Can cater to kids or families. Or this person may have kids. Right? But they see that you the one macking. So here is somebody here that's different than you. Very different. This person thinks very different than you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They see that you a powerhouse. They see that you full up like you were built like a brick wall. Like you strong in your position. They like to play head games. They're trying to figure you out. Right? They, this person don't know who they in love with. What they want. Person stays in their head. It's like they try to sit there and figure out every puzzle it is coming their way. And I'm going to tell you what. You know who's good doing that? Pisces. We would sit there and try to digest. We would sit there and make shit. Every situation what it is. And we don't really know what the situation. But in our head, we already seen it. How it is. What is going on. You got to be careful how you think about everything. Because sometimes we think it all. And it's different of how we think. All right? So you got to be careful, all right? Because there's somebody here that's definitely like in a triangle, right? So you got to be careful when you see something here because it's something here that it, this person can fit in any situation just like you, right? This person is definitely can be a Virgo, can be a Gemini, can be a Pisces, all right? Can be a Sagittarius, can fit in all kinds of situations. Can have you in the clouds, in your imagination, all right? Have you feel some type of way when it ain't? Can be honest with you about how they move. Straightforward. And it's either you take it or leave it. Alright? Tell me more about this musician. Judgment. You got judgment twice. You're really into your spirituality. Alright? Judgment is like karma is coming. Karma don't have no... Age, face, beauty, and all that. Karma comes. But it seems like you in a place where you're different. People are looking at you like you're real fucking different. Like you you leaving things behind. And you asking God to, to come and bring you out of situation. And make you whole into a whole spiritual being. It's like people coming out of the skeletons. Out of the, I'm talking about out of the skeletons. And they see that you have a different beam about you. But they can't figure it out. Because what you've been asking God for, he hears your cry. He hears your pray. He knows, Pisces, that you're a giver. He knows that you're in a situation that it's not good. It's a lot of games. It's the way people treat you. But you cannot let... A human take you so far that you so getting sick, having your mind running. Because God is in control of all things. And when you give yourself to the universe, body, mind, and soul, can't nothing on this earth fuck with you. I'm going to say it again. I lost a lot of people. A lot.
lot of people that I loved over my spirituality, over my YouTube. A lot. Over me, my candles, my spiritual work. I lost. They was putting me out there like I was doing witchcraft. I was a witch. I was working dark. I went through a lot of Pisces. Name calling. I went, I went through so much. But I never gave up on God. And I put my whole body and mind and soul into God. Because I know for a fact. He'll bring people to me like me. And the people that hurt me. I pray for them. I really do. And I don't need to be around it. I'm not missing out on nothing with them. Whether it's my son. My sister. My family. Close families that I thought it was. My son's family. My grandson. His wife. I've been through a lot of places. People at my job. People on my social media. People where I live at. I've been through a lot of name callings. And these same people come and eat off of my plates. My own family. I have to learn a hard way. But you got main events coming up. But it's like you're going solo. You got to be careful with people. You can't sit there and play with your life. You got to be careful who you work with. You got to be careful who you give your time to and who you going into business with. You better be very careful. Okay? Tell me more. You got a choice to make. And all the choices that you got to make, you must be careful. Because all of these cups are not full. They come with many tricks. And games. You got to make sure that the cups are full and not empty. So you be careful. You keeping things to yourself. You really going through a lot. And you have graduated. It's like you open up your third eye. And you're going on this ride of your life. And it's a beautiful feeling. But be careful. Of who you allowed in your circle. Because it's like you taking them on a ride and they can't believe it. They fucking scared as hell. Because God don't like ugly. But God still gives you choices. Because he can't make them for you. So Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. Remember, don't fall asleep on anyone. Don't think that you got it all figured out about people. Don't lie to yourself. Don't make excuses. See it for what it is. And accept it. Because there's many, many more that you're going to come through. But you got to get the right ones. I love you, Pisces. If you need to get a read and get it from me or someone else, I don't want to hate on nobody. God is my sole provider. Have a great day. Namaste. Go in peace. Bye-bye.